Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video lecture from Shomuz Biology. And in this video tutorial, I'll be talking about the difference between transition and transversion. And you know, the term as we are talking about is about the DNA base transition and DNA base transversion. Now, both these type of changes are the base changes in the DNA. We call it as a base substitution in the DNA that ultimately leads to the change in the DNA sequence and that we call as a mutation we all know that so transition and transversion of the bases in the dna ultimately leads to the mutation so what are those two things you know dna bases are consisting of two different types purine and pyrimidine so let me write them two type of bases we see purine pyrimidine two type of purine is there adenine and guanine and pyrimidine thymine and cytosine now purine bases are bigger they ca carry two cycles together two two circle bulkier groups together while two rings while pyrimidine contains only one ring so this is containing two ring it contains only one ring okay so the idea is we have a change of those purine to pyrimidine or pyrimidine to purine or sometimes we have change between pyrimidine, uh, pyrimidine and between purines. So if I draw a simple chart it will, it will be very helpful to explain. Let us say here we have the four uh, bases that we know of adenine and we have guanine which are purine. Okay, and let me write two other bases cytosine and thymine. So, cytosine and thymine both of them are pyrimidine type of bases. Okay. So, now look at the idea if the base shift is between a purine and a purine or between a pyrimidine and a pyrimidine between the same type a purine base is substituted with another purine for example a is substituted with g this type of changes is known as transition this is transition this is also transition purine substituted with one purine base pyrimidine substituted with another pyrimidine base known as transition while there are other factors like purine can be substituted with a pyrimidine right that will be known as transversion which is one type of base is substituted by another type this is known as transversion similarly here g substituted with t or t substituted with g both these cases purine is substituted by pyrimidine or pyrimidine is substituted by purine known as transversion and if you look at this crisscross way a can also be substituted by t g can also be substituted by c so all these are trans version so there are more room for transversion mutations than transition mutations because transition is limited between only purine substituting purine pyrimidine substituting pyrimidine but all the other case will be transversions now remember one thing in in transition as a purine base substitute another purine base so a two ring base substituting another two ring base so that is uh, the change and in that case it will not lead to that much of change in a in a DNA because a double ring substitute another double ring while the other one like transversion is kind of problematic because tra in transversion one purine base is substituting a pyrimidine base so a two ring base substituting one ring so that is going to lead to 
uh, uh, some more changes in the DNA because you know the idea of DNA uh, and how it's constructed. Uh, the, the the regions where uh, early let's say two ring base was present now only one ring base present. So these are the modifications that leads to some more changes in the transversion events. Okay, but in either way both this type leads to ultimately changes in between. Now what are the what are the factors that ultimately leads to the uh, resulting in the transition and transversions? There are chemical modifications like methylation, acetylation and this type of chemical modification in the bases ultimately change and modify the base to a different kind and once it is modified to a different kind it is no longer be able to interact with uh, the, the substitute other complementary base. So as a result of that for example uh, uracil, uracil if you take There is simple modifications in the uracil and you call it 5 bromo uracil right or cytosine if you take small modification to the cytosine if we add a methyl group we call 5 methyl cytosine. So this type of modification take place once this type of modification take place the characteristic of this base to pair with uh, this, uh, the, the complementary base is kind of changed and altered. And that ultimately leads to uh, the, the change of the base that will come to fill and bind with the hydrogen bond with that base will also change in the next generation. So that is the reason from one generation to the next generation due to this chemical modifications uh, the base pairing rule the base pairing idea slowly changed and that will lead to the generation of um, this type of transition and transversion mutations in the DNA and ultimately these mutations uh, can be good or can be bad mutations are most of the time bad in that sense uh, sometimes it may cause nonsense mutation it may cause missense mutation so if it cause nonsense mutation uh, it is going to prevent the protein synthesis of uh, the complete mRNA to be read so in that case uh, there will be gen generation of truncated polypeptide instead of a full protein and stuff. So there are different consequences in the letter downstream process of that but this is one of the uh, mutations are uh, very common mutations that, that take place in the DNA with the ba base substitution and it is uh, responsible for developing so much different changes between different individuals genome called single nucleotide polymorphism. So, so they contribute to SNP generations between people for example me and you who is watching the video right now in, in this case we both are human so according to uh, the rule according to the genome if we study it should be very very like 99.99 percent similarity between you and me but there is a small difference if we take your dna and and put it in the sequencer and run it in the gel and if you run my dna in the gel you'll see to to small range of differences due to those snp and stuff you'll find and that difference originated due to the small modifications in our DNA bases and this type of transition and transversions lead to those kind of modifications. So that in a sense is the difference between transition and transversion. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends. Thank you.